Enable notifications by ringing the bell. Hello, Internet! How are you doing once again? Here we are watching another wrestling video, which I guarantee is going to get about... Oh, there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten downvotes within the first five minutes. And I guarantee you half of that's because of... Uh, a lot of you out there say I'm pretentious because I actually look down and I can see you down. But guess what? You're proving me right. You are proving me right. So look, there ain't nothing wrong with the rope operas. No, there's nothing wrong with rope operas. I like professional wrestling. I'm I'm not afraid. I shouldn't be afraid to say that. But one professional wrestler who is active nowadays, who is taking the world by storm, and I think it's because of just how big he is six foot eight 385 pounds and he moves like a man about 125 maybe 150 pounds lighter than that the man T is touch rust rod <laughs> gristle <laughs> mcthorn body slab big punch McLar steak <laughs> big mclarge huge gristle mcthorn body <laughs> bold big flank roll fizzle beef bob johnson oh, oh wait, wait. <laughs> rum, <Rostro>. <clears throat> rum ham mcmilk steak yep. <laughs> Hey, he gets it. Yeah, he's so, got it. So what we have here is we have Braun Strowman, who came, literally came into the WWE as green as the grass is outside and is now considered one of the best in the business right now in terms of that how is, active he is and how... Uh, what? That is an angry man. Actually, if you meet him in real life, he's actually... From what everyone says about him, he's actually a giant teddy bear. Oh. He's A... He's a metalhead. I mean, his favorite bands are Pantera, Metallica, and I think he said uh, he said Slipknot as well as one of his favorites. Whenever he's lifting, that's what he listens to. <laughs> and when it, he he said, uh, and uh, he actually did a, a thing for Loudwire. Loudwire actually went to uh, to a, a wrestling event and asked them who their favorite uh, metal bands are. And Jinder Mahal, in true heel fashion, said Nickelback. Bruh. <laughs> there's being a heel, and then there's being an asshole. And he crossed the line. <laughs> he went there. He crossed the line. He went there. It's not okay. No, it's... Uh, well, anyway. Um, my thing is, I... I like System of a Down. I like, I like a lot of metal. Uh, but anyway, we're not here to talk about metal. Although, we could... I mean, if you all want that. I mean, <laughs> Nick is some sort of metalsman. Yes, he is metals man. Yes. So, Braun Strowman is without a doubt one of the most one of the biggest people in the wrestling he's, business, both physically and he's, metaphorically. He's a big man. Did you tell Bill what happened at our show, though? <laughs> oh, the guy getting knocked the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was uh, like, that's... I wish I could have recorded that. That'd have been awesome. Cairo was telling me how her and Heather were trying to tell you that you should come to the show because there's only ever like seven people at the hideaway, and I'm um, yeah. Like Ben would have been real mad at us if he came to that show. Yeah, <laughs> there's like, like forty or fifty people yeah, there. See, yeah. That's like, the biggest show I've ever seen there. Like. The thing is, like, A, social anxiety. B, yeah. loud noises. Yeah. Uh, loud noises! I got the noise-canceling headphones, dude. C, <laughs> uh, when that dude got elbowed in the head, I would have been like, okay, you're coming over here, you're going to sit down, we're going to make sure you don't have a concussion. Well, I made sure he didn't have one. <laughs> yeah. I did the best medical examination I could. I got my little flashlight out of my pocket, and yeah. I was like, yeah. all right, now look at, now, but now it, look at the it light. It would have been like, okay, all right, you need to sit down for a little bit. You've, you know. <laughs> And he well, would have been like, no, fuck that, man. I'm going back. Whoa. Well, he did. Like, he did. Well, he went right back in. Devin got on a stage. So they were the last band uh, to do their set. And he was like, that one guy got knocked the hell out and didn't even know he got knocked the hell out. He's still running around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was actually in the crowd. He was actually in, like, the second row of yeah. people. And uh, I remember when that happened, I saw the guy's hat go flying. And the hat just went flipping up in the air and hit the ground. And then I saw him lean over like he was going to pick up the hat. But no. He face-planted. And I'm just yeah. like, oh, shit. All I saw was out of the corner of my eye, somebody go down. And everybody does the usual, like, grab him and try to get him back up. And then I see... Oh, shit. And yeah. they're like... Uh -oh. yeah. He's not getting yeah. back up. Yeah, and then I was just I was like, like we gotta roll, get back over. Up? We gotta roll him over. And so like, like, surely he's just, you know, a little dazed. And he'll get back up in a second. And it's like, he's not getting back up. No. And I was about to be like, hey, hang on, guys. 
and uh, JP noticed and stopped playing the drums, and so they all stopped, and I was like, is he okay? Yeah. And, and then he gets back up, and everybody's like, yeah! Well, here, from my point of view, here's how things went. I went over to him. Like, people were trying to pick him up, and I'm like, no, 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 well, we got to roll him over. Roll him on his side. And we put him on his side. I put my knee I put my knee behind, my like, my leg behind him so they don't put him on his back. And I'm, like, patting his back, making sure his, uh, making sure his, uh, Oxygen passages are clear and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like making sure he's breathing and everything. I saw his chest moving. And he started going... <sighs> like, you know, like the heavy breathing you mm -hmm. can do sometimes yeah. to get knocked out. Anyway, like we're... Like we're snapping our fingers. One guy like... One guy like... Like like pats him on the shoulder. Like... And like somebody like hits him on the cheek like... And the guy's like... Guy, the guy on the ground just goes... Looks straight up at me right in my face. And he just <laughs> goes... He goes... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, you got knocked yeah. the fuck out, man. And he was just like, all right. <laughs> he gets up, goes right back into it. And then after y'all were done, he was outside, and I checked him, make sure he didn't have a concussion, and he was fine. He yeah. like, I think, I think it was just like a flash knockout, not like anything serious. So, uh, they were trying to decide where to go back into the song, and Jason's like, I'll just go on the next song. And I was like, all right, that's a better ending to that song than we could have come up with. So next song. <laughs> Okay. Awesome <laughs> shit, dude. I love it. And I you love said it. and you said social anxiety. <laughs> like I'm used to it sort of and but apparently it was to the point to where they kept asking me if I was okay. No, we didn't keep at okay, you're changing the story. We asked you twice. <laughs> we asked you twice. The first time it was just like when you were just like when you were just like ha like really nervously like looking around and everything and we were just like Kyrie, all right. Like, and then you were just like afraid you had offended somebody by not standing with them, and it's just like, Kyra, it's okay. Social anxiety. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah because of a different reason that. No, no, no. I you don't have to go into that here. Yeah. But okay. Anyway, I'm not going. I shouldn't gonna, have okay, even said Here we anything. are talking about a metal show and everything, and uh, yeah, we haven't gotten to the reaction yet. Anyway, these are the top five most destructive Braun Strowman moments. This is Strowman's, if you will. Oh, God, Ben. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm helping. And... It's okay, I'm not helping either. It's fine. Ladies and gentlemen. Braun Strowman. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me, boy, when I'm singing. Because I'm not finished with you. You're going to get the... <laughs> okay, he's just having a good time. Man. Of course he is. Look at th look. Oh, he's going to... Man, look at that uh -oh. count. <laughs> look oh, no. at that double bass. Holy Bad shit. Bad things are going to happen to that. Yeah, I was going to say, is he going to hit him with it's that? It's Chekhov's that's... double bass, dude. Come on. Uh, that's of course real he is. expensive. Now, just to show you how big Braun Strowman is, Elias is six foot five. Jeez. Elias is a big man. And Braun is making him look like a child. So he's no. like seven foot tall. <laughs> oh, he's he's six foot eight, six oh, foot nine. No. It's just how thick he is. He's like, he's almost four hundred pounds. McRun oh no, thick McRun fast. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, metal as f. And they're just like. Yeah, okay, and he's just they like, had to cut the music here because you're not allowed right. because WWE is like very adamant and about he's just not like, playing the music. I'm not, I'm, oh my god. No, oh no, 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 good. No. Fucking Kevin Owens. Oh. Hey. Hey guys. I'm, hey guys. I'm still up here. No. Nope. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going, Kev? Where are you going, hey, asshole? Uh, hey, nope. Where are you going, asshole? Sorry. <laughs> good night. <laughs> yep. Just climbs down slowly. Holy calmly. shit. Holy shit. Uh oh. Hey, another Kevin he's Owens. Kevin Owens again. And he's just like, uh uh. Uh oh. Kevin Owens now in the. Kevin, don't stop. This is. Don't stop. Kevin Owens is a good. Oh, no. No. You can go back to your locker, Kevin. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Quite literally. And they're just like. Please tell me he tips the poor body over with him. <laughs> uh oh. That's his car. Wait He's a second. Like... <laughs> Anybody in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm a doing the heavy lifting. I'm bringing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, okay, this is country boy farmer strength, guys. Like, look at this. <laughs> this is funny, is what it is. <laughs> oh no, you don't. No, no, not no. yet. Not yet. I gotta say, Kevin Owens is in a real <laughs> shitty situation. Oh no. Oh no. Run and go! He's scared to death in there. Come yes. on, do yes. this, bro. Don't go! No. Doing the bull charge! Shit. Covered in blue. Gross. That's just actually just blue paint. According to what God, Kevin I said, it's so. actually just blue paint. Okay, good. Yeah, they couldn't use his music again, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, yes. This is what made everybody love Braun Strowman. Yeah, Roman's strapped in. Oh, it's... It's not over. It's, it's getting worse. Over. What? Oh, oh, they didn't. Oh wait. Oh, oh it didn't. They didn't show it. Strowman's not finished yet. He's not finished with you. Oh, put that back yet. Why in the hell is there a grappling hook? <laughs> Why in the hell isn't there a grappling hook? It's it's rope opera. Yeah. Incoming. Strom, <laughs> Brock Lesnar, and Kane, the. Mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. Kane, yeah, the guy in the red mask is the mayor of Knox County. Yep. Amazing, isn't it? Man, I love that that happened. It's pretty great. He's just. Ooh. Wait. I don't want to go. Wait, is this not where it happened? What? Okay, I need you to the... see if you can find that the actual thing. Because they oh, I know what you're talking about. They didn't finish the clip with Roman. They weren't done. As it was said, <laughs> I'm not finished with you. So anyway, yeah, as as it went on... Roman sucks. Yeah. So okay. they get him up in the... Uh, get, get him up, up in the, the ambulance. ambulance. And uh, all of a sudden... All right. Here it comes. Oh, hey. Get out the way. It gets crazier, ladies and no, gentlemen. No, if you can believe it. Shit gets even crazier. Well. Uh-huh. Here's the thing. Yeah, we're doing this, folks. Now, as you can see, the engine block has been taken out of yeah. it. Yeah. You can see the engine is gone. Yeah. Now, they hollowed it out, and Braun actually did a lot of the lifting himself. Braun Strowman, a lot of people forget this about him. He's actually a former World's Strongest Man competitor and actually He's... was a very high hopeful up until he injured his leg and thus didn't want to risk it it blowing out or anything like yeah. that while lifting. And instead he went into wrestling and, and he lost a bit of his weight and... And then, you know, tipped over an ambulance. He tipped over an ambulance once. I, I, look... They didn't show the rest of the clip, and it had to be shown. Yes, it They only put be. that at number two. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> which I actually think uh, his distress... Like, there's actually one funny uh, thing that happened. Uh, Kevin Owens had a had a little bit of a spot with Jinder Mahal, and I think it was uh, uh, one of the Singh brothers, 
And Braun Strowman comes up behind the little uh, plateau stage that they'd set mm-hmm. up uh, out in the out near the crowd. And Braun had actually tipped it up, and all three of them were like on it, and they had their arms up like they were trying to rebalance. Mm-hmm. People photoshopped it and made it look like that Kevin Owens, Jinder Mahal, and Sunil Singh were all trying to surf. Yes, on the stage. Yes. <laughs> It's like it's just like totally tubular, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's some funny shit. Man. I love it. But all right, so Braun Strowman, a monster, a, a terrifying meatman. Yes, a huge terrifying monster of a man. And uh, if Look, you can believe it, people love people love watching him because rope operas are weird, man. Yeah, very weird. I, and like, okay, you. You think I'm kidding. No, no. It's straight up. It's just a soap opera, but with, like, dudes throwing each other around. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive <laughs> to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But also, uh, have I ever told you uh, somebody did a conversion of, like, somebody did wrestling as explained by Harry Potter houses? Which I feel like you would enjoy. You have not told me about that. Okay. So... Gryffindors are faces. Okay. Slytherins are heels. Hufflepuffs are jobbers. And Ravenclaws are people who don't watch wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's funny because it's I'm true. a Ravenclaw and I don't really watch wrestling. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah. Wrestling is, wrestling is real weird. Yeah. And it's. It's great so long as you don't take it seriously and don't pay attention to just how badly they book most of it. Oh, it, yeah. oh, the booking is terrible. Mm. There is no long form booking. There's no like long term storylines that they really pay attention to. It, attention to. Instead, it's all called on the fly, and half of it doesn't make a lick of fucking sense. Yeah, it, it's, it's yeah. Like you tune in. You tune in one week. And one guy's having a feud with another guy, and it's just, like, really heated, and it's really starting to do good. And then all of a sudden, because someone in the writing room is just like, you know what, we didn't really think the crowd responded to, like, the first showing of this feud. Which is funny, because the crowd definitely responded to it. Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, they're just like, you know what, let's cut it, let's cut it, let's let's go to something else next week. And the next week, they're best buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Makes no sense. No. Anyway... I, I hate I hate how wrestling is booked. Makes nowadays. just as much sense as the push on Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah, that whole thing, booming lanes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Shitman stains. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, uh, 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 Roman lanes. Damn it, I can't say it. I the can't biggest it. mistake in wrestling. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I would. The biggest mistake in wrestling is Katie Vick. All I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Fair. Necrophilia. Yeah. Head, brains exploding on live TV. Yeah. That was... That was pretty bad. When a man climbs into a casket... Okay, to... alright, alright, we're done. We're done. Okay. We're done discussing that. Kyra doesn't need to know about that. <laughs> save save my mind. Kyra is better off not knowing. Nick, I'm sure, has seen... Maybe worse? He's a metalhead, you know. I mean, oh yeah, like, I mean, I'm probably seen worse. <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. But clears throat> let's, All right. Let's keep Kyra safe. Okay. I like how there must be like this, uh, it's probably very funny, the things that he has seen as opposed to the things that people think that I should never see. <laughs> yeah, probably. I've All seen right. most of the things. All right, so. A, which makes claim, me sad. Sir. So. I mean, that's a bold claim. I mean, most of, in in terms of like things that like you know, people wouldn't normally want to see. I've seen a lot of this, I've seen some shit. <laughs> I mean, that's not a, in person. Like, that's a man that's seen some shit, ladies. But I mean, like, I mean, well, one of my of course, best. He looks in the toilet after he's done. One of my best buddies has a very macabre like set of like interests. I guess you would say he's very into horror. Like, I mean, he got me into horror, but like, he's the kind of person that will randomly be like, hey. uh... We're real bored right now. Let's go on the parts of the internet where you can find like videos of the Mexican cartels with chainsawing somebody's head off. Oh yeah, dark web. Out. Yeah, <laughs> not like, necessarily even the dark web. There's like sites that actually have shit like that that are on the regular internet. Um, oh dude. Uh, so I mean, I've seen some 
real disturbing shit. You know? I, I, okay. I've been on the dark web a few times. For my first experience on the dark web, a website, which I believe has been shut down several times, called Candy Palace. Oh, no. I'm afraid. I'm going to end the video now, and I'm going to tell them about it. Good night, everybody. Thank you.